Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw a turkey three different ways. So the, they're all really, really easy. One is going to be the hand way. The other is going to be kind of like a different kind of turkey. I don't really know how to describe it. And the third way is just going to be a turkey like looking at you from face to face, I guess. So yeah, all you're going to need is paper or the card or whatever that you want to draw it on. A pencil, a pen, or whatever, and then something to color it in with. So the first way is the hand method, which you probably already know. Um, so yeah, let's get started. To draw this hand turkey, you're just going to need a piece of paper and your hand, of course. And you're just going to place your hand on that, and then you're going to trace it. I know it's a little hard to see, but after you're done tracing it, you should get something like this. And then you're just going to close off the bottom by drawing a little line. Now as you can see, I didn't really leave much room at the bottom here. Um, I'll just take a scrap piece of paper I just have laying around. But you would want to then, on the bottom, draw feet by just drawing little legs and little bird feet. Like that. But I don't have room on mine, so I can't do that. But you would want to draw feet on it, trust me. Uh, the third step is to draw the face. So in the thumb area, you're just going to draw a little beak like that. And then hanging down from the beak is going to be a little oval, which is going to be the little red dangly thing. And then you're going to draw an eye. Then you're pretty much done and you can just color it however you want. The little oval hanging from its beak should be red. I also drew just one of the um, feathers or fingers red and I just continued it down all the way to the bottom because I'm going to be making a striped one. And I know it looks orange but it is red. The beak and the feet should be orange or yellow if you prefer. And I'm also going to color in one of these um, orange as well because I like to do the um, fingers or feathers. I like to do those in fall colors. Now turkeys are brown, but that doesn't mean that your drawings have to be brown. Um, their feathers are colorful and um, stuff like that, but you could do like all of the fingers or feathers, uh, pretty colors, and then the rest of the body brown, but I like to make mine colorful, and you can really do whatever. You can make a rainbow turkey, you can make a striped turkey like I am, you can make an all brown turkey, you can make a turkey with brown finger or colorful fingers and a brown body like they really are. Um, but you could just get really creative and do whatever you want with these turkeys and make them special for the person that you want to give them to. So this is way number one. Way number two is to draw the turkey head on. So first I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a circle. And then on the top of that circle I'm going to draw skinny little long ovals kind of. Kind of like really long hair. And that's going to be its feathers because they stick up longer than its head. Then I'm going to draw a little body, but you could just do the head if you wanted. Like that. And then little feet. Then I like to draw its little wings, but you don't have to. I know this wing's wet, messed up. Um, and then you can just add details to the face by adding eyes a triangle for the nose, and then on one side of the nose just draw the little red gobbly thing. And then you can color that in however you'd like, and that's your turkey face on. The third way is my favorite, and I know this E is messed up, so don't look at it. But anyway, um, the third way is my favorite, and it is this way, and I just think it's so cute. And it's just a little turkey, and he's just standing to the side. And I normally like to put gobble, gobble, gobble by him, but you don't have to. This guy is actually really easy to make, so don't fret. We're going to start by drawing 
almost like a bubble D letter, but without the little circle in it. So just draw a C. And then make it into a D like that. Now you can make its head fatter than that, which I'm going to do. So yeah. I hope you can see how it looks like a bubble D without this, the little thing in the middle. Then we are going to draw the legs. Which ones are again? Which ones again are just the little birdie feet? And then we're gonna draw a beak and a little red gobbly thing. Now I'm doing this in pencil, but you would color it. You wouldn't make that gray. You would make that red and the beak orange and stuff like that. And then we're gonna draw an eye like that. Now he's almost done, but he kind of looks not like a turkey right now. So then I just like to take color pencils, but I'm just going to do it with my pencil for now, right now. And I just like to draw these long ovals and just color them in. Like that, and I usually do like six of them. I usually do like um, red, yellow, and orange, and they are no in no particular pattern, but I do two of each color. So... Yeah, and then you can color it in, and it should look something like this, or whatever colors that you chose. And you could put gobble, gobble, gobble by it, or happy Thanksgiving, or happy turkey day, or something like that, or don't eat me, or uh, you want a piece of me. I think that's really funny. And so, yeah, that's how to draw a turkey three different ways, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below which one was your favorite and what you are thankful for. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!